Number 36 is um, awareness and consciousness. I don't know how you want to... I don't know how you want to... how you want to define this, but my conscious awareness of the world has increased quite a bit. I remember during my PhD, I was basically trapped where I had, you know, waking up early but sleeping really late, eating hamburgers and fries all the time, chicken nuggets, and I mean, fuck, all throughout high school I had chicken nuggets. There was no real conscious awareness. I was basically trapped in the field of science, in the hoopla of rationality and lack of emotion, lack of empathy. Just go out there, you have to publish papers and nothing else matters by any means necessary. Don't care about the animals. Don't care about emotions. Don't care about what, what your heart is telling you. Just go and be savage and, and do your experiments and, and, and do as much as you can to publish papers. And that was the goal. But over time, and I think this has a lot to do with um, my girlfriend and uh, the, me falling in love and really cherishing the one-on-one -on -one intimacy and uh, her teaching me about nature and love and emotions and and um, really helping me understand my own heart. So if you have if you don't have conscious awareness and if you are trapped like I used to be, where you believe that only your brain matters, only reason matters then I would welcome you to go on a path towards spirituality, towards feeling the present moment. And this is a lot of this I've learned through um, Stoicism and reading Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and other uh, philosophers. And of course, present day Stoics as well, like uh, someone like a Sam Harris or Tim Ferriss or Ryan Holiday and so on. Having conscious awareness and feeling the present moment. And, and, and what will happen is once you adopt healthy habits and have self-love and really work on yourself in a spiritual deep way, deep way, okay? Um, you're going to automatically start getting conscious awareness. And you're going to be able to, like when I'm in a podcast and I'm speaking to someone, there are moments when I become completely lost in the present moment. And it's happened even today here as I'm talking to you. At certain moments, I am so much into the, uni the universal energy of the moment that I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the topic is. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's just the universe is guiding me. And the universal creative energy is just allowing me to create without any involvement from my brain. It's just happening. It's just flowing. God knows how, but it's just happening. So I would highly invite you to, during the day, stop and for a moment really feel the present moment and what's going on and that present moment will guide you because sometimes there's shiny objects like oh you know some some distraction there some craving there some trauma triggering stuff there some stupid food that you shouldn't be eating but is it delicious there some shocking news, fake news there, some stupid Instagram influencer trying to tell you to do something there. Once you have conscious awareness, you will realize that all of this stuff is not you. It's something outside you. And once you start having faith in the present moment, it will no longer be hard. 
to be present, to be in the moment.